The next one says, in a triangle above, if theta increases at a constant rate of 3 radians per minute. Oh, OK. d theta dt is equal to 3 radians per minute, right? And then they gave us a triangle, theta, 5, and x. And they said that's a right triangle as well. And let's say, at what rate is x increasing? So how can we represent the x increasing? dx dt. So we're looking for dx dt. Right? That's what we're going to try to find. At what rate is dx dt increasing in units per minute when x is equal to 3 units? So we're actually trying to find dx dt when x equals 3, right? 3 units. OK. So let's try to, first of all, let's try to look at what relationship um, that we have in this case. You guys can see based on this triangle, um, if we're, we have a change, or we have a d theta dt, we want to include theta in our relationship, right? We have the opposite side in the hypotenuse, so therefore, um, therefore we want to include these two side lengths and theta. So the best trigonometric ratio we should use would be yeah. sine, right? So we can just say sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. But again, we won't really want to think about it like this, um, because then we might be thinking like quotient rule. But if we think of it like this, that might help us right? Make kind of make it a little bit more sense. Now, it says x has to equal 3. Or we want to find the dx dt when x equals 3. Well, that's kind of helpful, because if we could just kind of think of this triangle as a 5, 3, does anybody know what this is automatically using your special right triangles, Pythagorean triples? Four, right? If you've done enough math problems, you notice that the 3, 4, 5 triangle comes up a lot, right? It's a, you can use the Pythagorean theorem if you want to, but you should be well aware of the 3, 4, 5 triangle. It makes a perfect, uh, perfect right triangle. So if we know that that is 4, that's important because, again, we need to incorporate d theta dt. So we know we're going to differentiate this equation with respect to t. When we do that, we have cosine of theta d theta dt is equal to 1 fifth dx dt. Everybody agree? No? Yes? No? Yes? Yes? When you see cosine of d theta dt, what's the theta just two times the integral of it? Say that, say that again? Like you have cosine of theta d theta dt, would the theta from the sine just become d theta dt so we wouldn't have an extra one outside of the cosine? Well, you're taking the derivative of sine of theta, which is cosine of theta. But then you have to do. The, but then you're doing the chain rule, so you're doing the chain, the derivative of theta with respect to t, which is d theta dt. Okay. So just re, just remember whenever you know it's kind of like when we did. Remember when we did ln of y with respect to x. Like when we did that, it was derivative of ln of y, but then you had to take the derivative of y with respect to x, and that's why we got dy dx. It's kind of the exact same thing here. You take the derivative, but when, since you're taking the derivative with respect to a different variable, yeah. see, the difference is if I did dy, we would still do this. It would just be dy over dy, or dy, or dy with respect to dy, which, again, just goes to 1. That's why ln of y like, is just 1 over y. Does that kind of make a little sense? Yeah. Just remember when you're doing it with a different variable, when you're doing an implicit, um, just make sure you have, you're applying that chain rule. So now if we look at this, if we look at this triangle, guys, now they're asking us for what cosine of theta is. And that's why using that Pythagorean triple is important, because cosine is simply just the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we have 4 over 5. d theta dt is 3 radians per minute. And that's equal to 1 fifth dx dt. So if all we're trying to do is solve for dx dt, I'll multiply by 5, 5 over 1. Remember what I told you guys last class period about not simplifying to the very, very end, right? Especially when you don't have a calculator. Rather than multiplying this all out, if I just leave this multiplied, I notice that the 5s 
divide out, and I can just multiply 4 times 4 times 3. So dx dt is just equal to 12, which was answer E. Anybody want me just to cover 